pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central. I'm Jordan. And I'm Sarah. Today is Tuesday, May 28th, and this is a C Day. We hope you enjoyed your long weekend. What did one Dorito farmer say to the other? What? Cool Ranch. Join the SADD club for a chalk walk next Friday during your lunch or lunch study hall. We will be meeting at the bus loop to draw and write positive messages for all to see. The last day to sign up is Thursday, May 30th. You can either scan the QR code on the screen to sign up or use a Google form in your class Google Classroom. You must sign up to participate. Any questions, please see Ms. Klementowski or Mrs. Bartnick. Recently, students in Digital Rioting Workshop used documentary film to explore a current event issue of their choice. You saw Tan and Chase's look at AI and the future workplace. Now let's take a look at Eamon Moyer and Isaiah Lopez's documentary about AI and school. Let's take a look. Jordan, how many times? Thank you. Technology. Technology is the future frontier of education. Schools around the world have shifted from physical paperwork towards digital replacements with subjects like math being primarily taught on Desmos, or English essays being typed into Google Docs. The prevalence of AI is quickly growing, whether it is using chatbots like ChatGPT or algorithm-based AI like PhotoMath. Schools have to adapt or risk falling behind. So as a teacher, I, I personally actually do use it already. So as a teacher, there's um, a few different websites that we've been introduced to over the last maybe six months or so uh, that help, especially for like a new teacher, I think it would be great. But even as a veteran teacher, I found myself using it to make like some quick worksheets based on, uh, based on videos or based on text. Um, and they have large enough databases that you can type in chapter one of um, The Great Gatsby and it can pop up some questions based on that chapter. So I think for, as new teachers especially, it, your first few years are pretty difficult trying to create like all kinds of new material. And if you can have AI help you out with some of that stuff, um, that'd be pretty cool. I think that we should use AI in education. I think that it is our responsibility as educators to help students um, determine what they're going to be using in the future for their jobs, etc. And I do see the world going in a way of AI is going to be dominant in every job field at some point. Um, do I think that we have the tools right now to successfully set up students? To see that future, no, because we still don't really know what that looks like yet. However, I know that AI is going to play a big part in that. Um, I just think it's really like stigmatized the word, um, like hated, and just like I just really think it's a really good source to use and like take advantage of because like it's the future it's like it's something that like we need to learn how to use learn how to not take advantage of but learn how to use it for us and like our benefits definitely despite the challenges that ai creates i believe 
that AI will be a valuable tool in education, whether it's the students using AI or the teachers. It will be able to enhance the learning experience for all. Today, big happy birthday to Adrian Clyburn Jr., Devion Jones, Naval Sanders, Vincent Grant, and Luis Pamaquiza Pugway. We hope you have a great birthday. Good morning, Chico Sanjo. Today is National Hamburger Day. Today's lunch is hamburger on a bun. Baked beans, fruit, and a frozen, frozen tart and, and milk uh, wait, wait, treat. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Hang on, no, hang reset, on, reset. This is a new round that check, but it's not just going to no, happen no, like that. Cause it's like you would call a farmer ranch. Okay, but why did they say Dorito farmer? Because he's a Dorito farmer. He farms Doritos. And he has a he has a Dorito. He has, he has a Dorito ranch. You can't farm Doritos. Has well, obviously, you know Sarah, it's a joke, and Sarah's Carly ruining the joke. Wrong. Carly, it, I un, I get the joke. Sarah's just no, you don't. You she's think, she's just you not think very. You get the joke. I like do that. get the joke. Dorito a ranch, is probably a type of farmer. A ranch, a, you think Dorito's it's a joke, a Sarah? So you're probably wondering, where's your boy Danelle, the third milk boy? Y yes, but Danelle's in Texas. But don't worry, he'll be back for the announcements on Thursday. Yep. Alright, stay tuned and have a great day. Yep. Have a safe Peace week. out. Peace.